Hey friends, my name is Reese. Um, sorry I look like a rat for my first video, but you know what? What can you do? So I'm gonna be doing one of those things that I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing, which I am by no means a YouTuber. I, I'm just here to showcase a few of my old trash pieces, but yeah, basically I'm going to be showing a bunch of my old art. So we'll be doing this. I'm filming on the old trusty iPhone 5S, so I'm sorry for all the inevitable background noise that is going to infiltrate through this video. So without further ado, let's get, get on to the news. You know you started your YouTube channel off right when it begins with a Keemstar reference, my apologies. But yeah, let's get into this. Um, I drew this like, sadly a year ago. It doesn't really represent what I was able to do at the time, but hey, all right. Um, this is a print of some sort. I can't remember the types of prints, but it's got my birth date up there and it's kind of low-key looks like Robin Scherbatsky from How I Met Your Mother. Ah, uh, there's something on the back of this. Let me just peel it up with my foot. Oh lord, this is the one that looks like Michael Jackson. I don't know what was up with that. I I'm not happy with this. I did this like a couple years ago. It's watercolor. Oh, look who we found! That's my girl Julia. In 10th grade, she let me borrow her face so I could do an art project. Shout out to you, Julia. This is my love in the corner here. Yeah. Um, my iPhone won't zoom in on that. Is there something on the back of that? No, it's just one of those window things. Window, I forget what it's called. Lord have mercy. This is going great. All right, I don't really know why particular, oh gosh, dead name. I don't know why in particular I have a folder here for certain pieces, but whatever. Mm, this was a strange time for my style. It doesn't look as wrinkly in real life as it does in the camera shot. Eh. <laughs> I still kind of like this one. I'd kind of gone into like this pure anime style, I guess, kind of a thing kind of cute and oh my goodness my boy Rhett I did this like a year ago but he doesn't look any different so Ooh, this one I titled the light bulb of capitalism very nice I've kind of appropriated this idea from like a hundred of the other artists on the internet that I've seen what can you do mm. when I first got into Rhett and Link my boys. Here's John Bon Jovi. Did this like two and a half years ago. Boy, time flies. Um, my boy Gordon. I'll stop calling everyone my boy in a minute. This looks like it was done on like a piece of the kind of paper that they offer you in a public restroom to wipe your hands with. What do they call those? Paper towels? Looks like that was done on a public restroom paper towel. Hmm. This one, I did not intend the message to be the birds and the bees, but that's what it kind of came out to be as everybody walked around while I was doing my art during art class and said, I like the message there. Sex. This was, well, like we had like this art squad in my senior year of high school. And it was just people who sat at my art table and I took attributes from everybody and shoved them all into this one character. Shout out to Leslie who had this galaxy hair at the time. It was very cute. This, I don't know, like I've drawn elephants before and it looks worse in real life. It doesn't look that bad in the shot. But, like, if you if you just look in here, it's done on, like, this garbage paper. Which, I should know by now that an iPhone camera will not, you know, focus when you push it up against things. But you know what? It's It's got, like, a very hard tooth, I guess? I don't really know how to describe it. This was actually done on a uh, public restroom paper. Paper towel. Um, hotline bling reference here. It was an interesting time for my style. 
Not a fan of that. This is Avi from Pentatonics. Not my best, but hey. This is supposed to be Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Somebody asked me to do this at school. Don't really like that one. Eh, don't remember anything about this. I have no recollection of doing this. She has cornrows, that's all I can say. This is my own eye. I don't really like the fold of my eye. It's true to life. I do like the color though. I've got like this ring in the middle of it, just like every other white kid. Always talking about their eyes and how they change with their mood or whatever. That's me, my eyes change with my mood. Uh, This is like massive. I don't know if I can fit the whole thing in the shot, but I loved this at the time, for some reason. Uh, I won't dog myself. This bad boy, everybody thought it was a Charizard, partially because it looks exactly like a Charizard, I assume. But it's not. It's just a dragon. And that's a snow globe, I suppose. I don't know. There's never really any hidden meaning behind my art. All right, here's the Apocalypse Brothers, as I dubbed them back in the day. And this like, oh gosh, a year and a half ago, July 2015, Mercy Me time flies. That's really edgy. The flag says truce. Um, here's a picture of, if I can pick it up, Mercy Me. It's a picture of me, but here's the catch. So I'm a Pokemon trainer and I can't freaking draw feet, so I have wheels instead. So check that out. And I'm in the sunset because I had like this obsession with drawing sunsets at the time. Not sure why. And there's not even any stars in the sky. I kind of like this at the time. I put a lot of like effort into this, like worthless effort. I, um, not only is there like acrylic stars in the background, but there's like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like sand that I had glued onto the background was a wild time. Again, shout out to my girl Julia who posed her foot and let me take like seven hot pictures of it so I could draw it in charcoal. Very sweet of you, friend. I still quite like this one. I did this last year. It's, yeah, obviously a Dr. Pepper can. Oh Lord. Listen, I thought this was excellent at the time I was doing it. I, I mean, I realized that, that you're not, I'm probably not supposed to be like dogging myself here because like other people of lower skill levels will come to this video and be like, what, you did good, man. And I'm like, mm. I'm like cringing a little bit. Well, let me just say, I am cringing a little bit, but it does represent that I have some level of skill, I guess. But I get, I think it's just the nose. This is supposed to be Mitch Grossi from Pentatonics, Lord of Mercy. It's done in oil pastel. Anyway, I'll move on. My girl Haley. Oh my goodness, I haven't talked to her in ages, but like, I love her. She's the most pure sweet bean I've ever met in my life. Sorry, I don't like saying pure sweet bean, but that's just what she is, you know? She's chill. I have, okay, I have an obsession with this kid. In case you don't know me, I love this boy. This is Robin. I don't know. Robin has a lot of different, like they're my OC, but they have a lot of different forms, I guess. This is their water bending form. I don't really know. I was just fleshing out some ideas, I think. Uh, oh dear, we're getting into some kind of older stuff now. This is like from art projects that were very constricted in terms of what I was able to do because my art teacher had us like do, you like this project was, you had to do a still life, but you could only do it in these colors or this kind of color scheme, 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 whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's got an interesting turnout, but like, I'm more of a realism person, so it wasn't my favorite thing to do in the moment. 
Oh gosh, I did this in ninth grade. I don't know how this got mixed up with my more current stuff, but yeah, this is like four years old. Mika and a Grace Kelly lyric at the bottom. Very edgy. Oh my gosh. I, this is Brent Smith from Shinedown. I went through a seven year phase with these, this man in particular, but all of them. That's all follow you lyrics. I regret my entire existence. Here's another one of Brent Smith before he cut his hair. This is from the bully video. As you can see down here, raw, I am angry. Very emo, very edgy. Love my entire childhood. Okay, this is some kind of printmaking. Again, I have entirely forgotten everything I learned in my art class, but yeah, it's Starry Night, except it's backwards because anything you do, it prints backwards. So I was instructed to write Starry Night backwards at the top so it wouldn't end up being backwards. Hootie Hoo. I am still fond of this one. I did this in like ninth, 10th grade, 10th grade in my painting class which you can't really see in a camera because it doesn't show up very well, but it's it's a bit more vibrant IRL. This kind of makes me cringe a little bit, even though I only did it like two years ago. It's just a bunch of pokey fusions. I, I don't know. And the ground is massive. Like it takes away from the entire like art piece itself. Anywho, I still kind of like this. I think that's, yeah, that's done in oils. I just picked a bunch of random stuff. There's a moth at the top. I don't know what you call this, to be quite honest. But I don't love it. And we'll would you look at that. My grades. Well, let's see what I got in my, my art class. I see that he gave up about a quarter of the way through and didn't give me any more grades. That's fine. It's okay. Here's yet another drawing of Brent Smith. Gracious. I did that like, ooh, maybe four or five years ago. Not sure. Uh, not much to say about this. It's, we had like 12 different colors of colored pencils and everything is so vibrant here kind of resentful about that. This is a watercolor painting, but like, it doesn't look like a watercolor painting. I kind of got a little, not in trouble for it, but my art teacher was kind of like, this doesn't look like a watercolor painting because what I had done was squeezed out watercolor out of the tube and thus spawned this strange, it looks like wash, I guess. But I've never tampered with wash, so I really wouldn't know. This is me. We had to do a, I don't know if it was a portrait or a self-portrait, but I did a self-portrait, whatever the case. And we had to do it in primary colors. My hair actually looks like that, or it did at the time. It was like blonde, but, or it, it wasn't blue, but it was blonde in the bangs. And then, I don't know, my skin was not red. I will say that much. It was probably paler than my hair. But, uh, you know, contrast, man. Uh, this could use a few more, you know, sharper outlines, but it's fine. I wish I had finished this because I really liked where it was going. I, I remember we were in my AP Lang class and we read this like poem, I believe, that had a quote similar to what is presented on the screen here. How dare you say you've killed a tree whose seeds have sown a forest? And I really, I liked how this was going. I really liked the quote, but never ended up finishing it for some reason. Yeah, I still quite like this. We had to, my art teacher set up a still life in the room and it was, it was really kind of random. No, actually, I think the art student set this up. Yeah. Yeah, because Cammy picked the spatula. Shout out to Cammy. I don't know if you're watching, but... Hey, she picked the spatula and I could not paint it for the life of me, but it's fine. I kind of like how this turned out. Mm. Not a fan of this. It's another one of those like supposed to be full of meaning type of pictures, but I actually had no inspiration. I live without inspiration. 
Oh, golly. This is salad fingers. <laughs> um, it's, I did this my freshman year and it's got such a strange style. I don't know how you describe it. It's almost like, like who the dude, Tim Burton, Nightmare Before Christmassy, I guess. It's like hatchy, I don't know. I went through a, quite a salad fingers phase. And eh, this is just a color wheel. Enough of that. Oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all know the Fine Brothers, who, uh, I don't know what the deal was, I guess, but they tried to trademark react, the word react, and get money from anybody who used the word react. Y'all remember that? Shout out to early 2016 for that meme. Uh, anyway, they had this show back in like 2012 called My Music, and I found it through Jack Douglas, who I still watch occasionally. And this was the basic sentiment of it. It was, it was a terrible show, but I liked the concept of it and pretended I liked it because the concept was so bloody cool. And for whatever reason, I have a copy of the Salad Fingers picture. Enough of that. Oh gosh. This was, um, I was kind of forced to cut this up and glue it back down onto a piece of cardboard because it was supposed to be an abstract piece, but I just got kind of carried away and didn't do anything abstract with it. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna cut it up. So therefore, I don't know, it's edgy. And oh gosh, is this really my last thing? I wanted to end on a good note, but alas, this is Zach from Shinedown. I regret so much, but this video is over now. Adios, my dudes.